Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to, and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest so today i'm going to be reacting to 10 ancient hindu predictions that came true uh, so without wasting time let's get into the video in the last section of the ancient hindu text the bhagavata purana there is a list of numerous predictions and prophecies about the dark times of the present age known as kali yuga in hinduism the kali yuga is the fourth and worst of the four yugas or world ages in a yuga cycle hey everyone welcome back to another ftd facts episode my name is leroy kenton and for this one we're journeying into hinduism and looking at some ancient hindu predictions that have come true in this present age. Starting off at number 10, influence of power. And this is from the Srimad Bhagavatam 12 to 1. Then, O king, religion, truthfulness, cleanliness, tolerance, mercy, duration of life, physical strength, and memory will all diminish day by day because of the powerful influence of the age of Kali. Okay, so today really only power and authority are respected in people. Tolerance and forgiveness are of course things that have completely diminished because there's a whole lot of envy going on. The prediction at number nine has to do with hypocrisy and money ruling. So Srimad Bhagavatam 12 to 5 says, a person will be judged unholy if he does not have money and hypocrisy will be accepted as virtue. Marriage will be arranged simply by verbal agreement and a person will think he is fit to appear in public if he has merely taken a bath. Now, there are many self-righteous and hypocritical people, religious fanatics and stuff out there too, who claim that they, if people don't believe what they believe, then they're all bad. They have the only real knowledge. You know, these same fanatics are also usually addicted to many bad habits like excessive smoking and drinking and gambling and also marriage has now become yeah just really a verbal thing and the marriage certificate isn't really worth much it's just a mere piece of paper nowadays so we see a whole lot of this stuff going on in this age of Kali. Number eight brings us the strong will gain power. So this is from Srimad Bhagavatam 12 to 7. As the earth thus becomes crowded with a corrupt population, whoever among any of the social classes shows himself to be the strongest will gain political power. So people from all backgrounds and classes are now becoming political leaders. Anybody who is viewed as power and having influence, well, those are generally the people that are going to win regardless of their actual agenda or their actual abilities to get the job done. Now, number seven leads us to a dried up planet. Srimad Bhagavatam 12 to 9 says this, harassed by famine and excessive taxes, people will resort to eating leaves, roots, flesh, wild honey, fruits, flowers, and seeds. Struck by drought, they will become completely ruined. Now, this prediction declared that the future of the planet is gonna be a very dried up place. And despite all the modern technology, there's not gonna be really any formula to aid these people in experiencing the hardships of this planet. It's like we're seeing this happen right before our eyes. From there, let's look at the prediction at number six, speaking about the different torments that are gonna happen. Srimad Bhagavatam 12 to 10 says the following, the citizens will suffer greatly from cold, wind, heat, rain, and snow. They will be further tormented by quarrels, hunger, thirst, disease, and severe anxiety. So guys, we all know that climate change is a big issue these days, as well as the anxiety and stress levels that we're seeing in people are leading them to suffer from great depression, as well as leading them to fight and carry out all different types of acts, as well as the diseases and stuff. You know, we just went through a pandemic, the COVID pandemic. How many more are we gonna see? 
Number five, this world will be unsafe. This is from Srimad Bhagavatam 12332. Cities will be dominated by thieves. The Vedas will be contaminated by speculative interpretations of atheists. Political leaders will virtually consume the citizens. And the so-called priests and intellectuals will be devotees of their bellies and genitals. So yeah, most of the large cities right now are completely unsafe, especially at nighttime. There's a lot of different fake priests and religious con men who are looting people in the name of religion. And also political leaders are really eating up all of the wealth in their respective nations and corruption is just gripping the world everywhere. So yeah, could this be a fulfillment of this ancient prediction. Number four, cheating will be common. And this is from Srimad Bhagavatam 12.3.35. Businessmen will engage in petty commerce and earn their money by cheating. Even when there is no emergency, people will consider any degraded occupation quite acceptable. So yes, despite all of the available jobs and occupations out there, people are literally willing to work any job, you know, in unsanitary working conditions just because that's what they choose to do, you know? They think it's something that they can get by with, so they choose to do it. As well as other quick money-making schemes people are getting involved in. Number three, people will be selfish. Srimad Bhagavatam 12336 says this, Servants will abandon a master who has lost his wealth, even if that master is a saintly person or of exemplary character. Masters will abandon an incapacitated servant, even if that servant has been in the family for generations. Cows will be abandoned or killed when they stop giving milk. Wow, some very strong words in this one. It's unfortunate that people will abandon those people who are closest to them. Hmm. Number two, hatred will be common. Now this is found in Srimad Bhagavatam 12, 3, 4, 10. Men will develop hatred for each other, even over a few coins. Giving up all friendly relations, they will be ready to lose their own lives and even kill their relatives. Wow, this is really sad to see guys. Like, you know, people are really like letting people down, even if they're really close friends. For the sake of money or wealth, people will be ready to even end the lives of their relatives. That is crazy. Now, at number one, this leads us to parents being abandoned. Srimad Bhagavatam 12342 says this, and I quote, Men will no longer protect their elderly parents, their children, or their respective wives. Thoroughly degraded, they will care only to satisfy their bellies and genitals. So during this age, we can see that so many people do not even tolerate their old parents. They just maybe send them away to a nursing home or something, or not even talk to them, not call them or anything like that, not realizing that, hey, your parents gave up so much to raise you. As well as we see things like cheating, on your partner that you're married to becoming very common, more common nowadays. All right, guys, so that's all I have for this episode. Let me know what you thought. Send off down below in the comments section. If you did enjoy this one, you found it informative, educational, or entertaining, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. And if it's your first time here to FTD Facts, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. That way you'll be alerted every time we post a new video. As a matter of fact, we post episodes daily here on FTD Facts, so come back each and every single day to learn something brand new. Until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated, and I'll see you soon. A big shout out to, to the FTD Facts channel. Um, I love the work that he does on uh, his two channels there's a third one but his two channels so far i've seen work and i feel like he puts in so much work to get the to get and put out the content that he puts out and this is uh something different something that uh concerning the contents of the video like number one number one i love that number one was number one how dare we forget our parents how dare we forget about our partners you know Parents have done so much for us to reach where we've reached. They've sacrificed so much. And our partners sacrificed so much as well. And 
the least we can do i always say this the least we can do is pick up the phone say hi to your parents it's not about giving them something just saying hi is enough on their part they just want to hear how you're doing find out how they're doing and say bye that will make the day we shouldn't be these children that think we're too busy or too cool for our parents because we made it in life or outside the house now and we can do as we please let's remember to always respect our parents and our partners as as well our partners do so much for us sacrifice so much the least we can do is be there and at least try to be supportive and don't think that you made it in life by ignoring them be present with them and yeah uh, number nine was talking about uh, people that have a certain mindset of thinking. The people that think what they know is the way it should be. But then when you're that type of person, you're limiting yourself from learning new things or accessing other knowledge that's out there in the world. Don't be that know-it-all. Be someone who's teachable and be someone who's willing to teach from whatever you learn in life uh, there's many other things that were spoken about like common hatred uh cheating in every manner that may when it comes to jobs cheating there's all sorts of cheating the people that still in the workplace the people that bribe to get a job the people that do the most when it comes to jobs and um how do you expect to be in a corrupt free world when these things are happening, when we are culprits of some of these things that are being spoken about, I don't think we'll ever enjoy the world because we've already we already think that's normal to some extent. We have to cleanse ourselves and move away from these bad habits that we've actually inherited. When it came to power, um, nowadays it doesn't matter as long as you're telling the people Yes, you're talking people into believing what they want to believe or what you want them to believe. You're bound to be looked at as a leader. You're bound to be given that position. But then you mess things up when you have when you have that power. Don't misuse your power. At least be a person of your words and actually see through the promises that you promised someone. Just because you have power doesn't mean you always have power. Sometimes power can be taken from you. Otherwise, the video... I actually enjoyed what the video was talking about. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything like this you want me to react to, drop the link or the name down below and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.